A young hunter gets a chance at a monster in the Wisconsin woods. Does Buck Fever get a hold of the young man? We'll watch the hunt unfold and analyze the shot on this week's Vital Information. Thinking about starting a food plot or having problems with the ones you have? Get all your questions answered from our experts. Then on Flashback, Dan Schmidt will step back into the archives and see how we used to think about rubs and rub lines. Candid Whitetail, Tiger Ridge Tips, and Score the Deer, all coming up on Deer and Deer Hunting TV. We went to a spot that has been known to produce some quality whitetails. Between me and my dad, uh, we shot, I think it's 11, 11 Pope and Youngs off this property. And me and my dad previously went in there and uh, we scouted this land before season. We found unbelievable rub lines. Uh, what we were doing, we were catching the deer coming from their bedding area to a soybean field. and. Uh, what we did was we took a decoy in there. We got in real early because it was really hot and we wanted to be all cooled off so our scent wasn't, you know, everywhere. Sprayed everything down good with scent killer. Uh, the wind was right in our face. We waited, you know, waited for the perfect conditions for the spot because we knew something was going to happen the first time we sat here. Uh, we waited probably 15 minutes and we saw the first deer and we thought that was unusual. Not 20 minutes later, uh, probably 45 minutes before our shooting light was up, out steps this big boy and Joe turns to me and he says, Bo, big buck. So I held up my range finder, I looked at him and I just saw points everywhere here and I, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get nervous. The deer, we have a decoy out, as I said before, and the deer didn't spot it right away. You know, he's down in this little valley, and, um, you know, he's not seeing it. So I, I try hitting the grunt call. He hears it, but he doesn't know where it comes from. So, you know, he starts walking and stops in some really thick stuff and then turns and starts walking away from me. I hit the grunt call one more time. Didn't seem like he heard it, so I hit it one more time and he turned his head, licked his nose and uh, wiggled his tail and I knew he was coming. <laughs> 